Welcome educators. Today, we embark on an enriching journey to explore how you can incorporate pollinator gardens into your school's curriculum. Pollinator gardens are not just beautiful additions to your school environment. They are dynamic classrooms that provide vital lessons on the role of pollinators within our ecosystems. These gardens serve as crucial teaching tools about biodiversity, ecology, and the interconnectedness of life. Understanding pollinators. Let's begin by defining what pollinators are and highlighting their significance. Pollinators include a variety of animals such as bees, butterflies, birds, and other insects, which carry pollen from one flower to another, facilitating plant reproduction. This process is essential for the production of fruits and seeds and is critical for the biodiversity of our planet. The importance of pollinators. Discuss why pollinators are crucial not only for natural ecosystems, but also for agricultural systems that provide the fruits, vegetables, and nuts we consume. Emphasize the threats to pollinator populations, such as habitat loss, pesticides, and climate change, and how creating pollinator gardens can be a step towards mitigating these threats. Setting up a pollinator garden. Guide your students through the practical steps of setting up a pollinator garden within your school grounds. Select a suitable location that receives ample sunlight and is protected from strong winds. Choose native plants that are known to attract pollinators, such as lavender, sunflowers, wildflowers, and milkweed, because native plants typically require less maintenance and are better suited to local pollinator species. Integrating curriculum. Incorporate this project into various aspects of your curriculum. Science. Explore the life cycles of common pollinators, the anatomy of flowers, and the process of pollination. Conduct experiments to observe which colors and types of flowers attract different pollinators. Math. Engage students in measuring plant growth, calculating the area of the garden, and analyzing data on the frequency and types of pollinator visits. Art. Have students create botanical drawings or paintings of the plants and pollinators. Environmental science. Discuss the role of pollinators in maintaining biodiversity and the implications of pollinator decline on global food webs and human food sources. Observational skills. Encourage students to regularly observe and document the types of pollinators visiting the garden. They can use journals or digital media to record their observations, noting the behavior and interaction of pollinators with the garden plants. This ongoing observation will not only enhance their scientific inquiry skills, but also foster a deeper appreciation for nature's complexity. Wrapping up, a pollinator garden is more than just a garden. It's a living laboratory where students can witness the beauty and complexity of ecological interactions. By participating in the creation and care of a pollinator garden, students gain invaluable insights into the importance of conservation and biodiversity. They learn firsthand how even a small garden can contribute to environmental health and sustainability. Thank you for joining this session. I hope you feel inspired to start a pollinator garden project at your school. Remember, by educating our students about pollinators, we're planting seeds not just in the soil, but in young minds. Seeds that will grow into a lifelong interest in and commitment to protecting our natural world. Let's nurture these young conservationists who will lead the way in preserving our planet's precious biodiversity. Happy gardening and teaching.